Joe Patrick here with Dirty South Soccer. In an empty Red Bull Arena now, you can see the, the grow lights, the grass lights are on. The, the season is over for New York Red Bulls as Atlanta United come into Harris, New Jersey, get a 1-0 loss, is that right? Yes, that is right because they had a 3-0 lead on aggregate coming into the coming into the night. They end with a 3-1 win in the tie. It was um, an ugly, kind of brutally ugly match at times. Um, no team could really seem to really get much control of the match, and that's what Atlanta United wanted in this one. Um, it was, they, they didn't care. They didn't want the ball. They just didn't want the Rebels to be creating many chances, and for the most part, they were able to deny them. Um, you got to give a ton of credit to Atlanta's defensive back line. They played superbly, especially Leandro Gonzalez Perez. He was my man of the match. He was just immense. Not only physically, he was all over Bradley Wright Phillips and um, Kaku, who also played a more advanced role in this in this match. Um, but he was he was there as a leader. You could see it from the this is this view you're getting here is right from where we were sitting, and um, you could see him ordering his teammates where they were supposed to be, where where they need to go, who they need to close down, who they need to mark. Um, he was fantastic. And I think you get, need to give a lot of other credit to Julian Gressel. I thought he played superbly. Um, he has been, and, and what he does is not the prettiest thing, but he really muddles up midfield. Um, this team, ever since the playoffs started, they've been talking about how important it is to win a second ball, the second balls. And basically a second ball is like if a long ball is played, header goes, uh, someone heads it and the ball's loose, who, who wins that next ball when, it, when, when the ball's loose there? Uh, Gressel is so good at getting to those balls. His aggressiveness in midfield um, suits that role perfectly, and he was great tonight. In the attack, you know, Miguel Almiron and Joseph Martinez couldn't get a ton going. They were, they were pretty isolated tonight. Uh, but the team, Michael Parker said, the team's focus was to be solid defensively, and they were. I mean, the, the one goal that they conceded came in the 94th minute, the very some of the last action of the game. Um, there was one goal that was called off uh, after Aaron Long had headed the ball out of Brad Guzan's hands and into the goal. It was originally given a goal, but taken back on VAR. Uh, but overall, just a extremely impressive display from Atlanta, particularly because you guys will know as Atlanta United fans, these are the kinds of games that we are not so sold on, maybe, on seeing how Atlanta United can perform. We know that they can control games, we know that they can attack, we know that they can score goals, um, but when it comes down to it, when it comes down to needing a defensive effort, a gritty effort, an ugly effort, um, that's what they gave tonight. That's what they that's what they put on the field here, and that's what they needed. That's what they needed. Michael Parker again talked about it, um, and Tata Martino talked about it as well. So we'll have a bunch more coverage for you uh, from the this match as long as well as what will be ahead, which will be the Portland Timbers, uh, who defeated Sporting Kansas City tonight in Sporting in Kansas City. Um, so Atlanta and I will be playing Portland in the MLS Cup final, which takes place December eighth. You can get tickets, they are on sale. I, they may already be sold out, um, but they did go on sale tonight. So uh, yeah, this game will be played in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Atlanta United has punched its ticket to go back home and play Portland Timbers.